Hi, I'm Ojiga Khan, the CEO of Epiphany Consulting, LLC, and I'd like to welcome you to another AHA Monday. Welcome back to another terrific AHA Monday happy. It is November the 17th. So we're halfway through November. Well, actually, if you're counting now, only about 33 days away from Christmas. And so the holiday time is upon us and we have a ton of things that are going on. Um, really excited about the, the growth that we've had over the past few weeks, um, also with the AHA Mondays, but within our business. Um, during this last quarter of the year, we had some pretty large goals and we've been able to really knock those goals down. And so I'm so unbelievably excited about that, about, about being able to knock those goals down. Um, had a lot of feedback last week about our subject on flex. Ugh. Um, about how you're flexing through your goals. And I think we got something that you guys will really like this week as well too. So remember to keep going back and forth with us and getting us that information as far as talking back and forth via social media and the different things that we have there. But the first things first, you know what we're building? We're building a team. What's the name of our team? It's called Team Crushing It. What are we crushing? We're crushing those obstacles that are in front of our goals. We're crushing those timelines. We're getting there faster than we ever thought we were gonna get there. And we're really crushing life. I'm so excited to be a part of this team and to be working with people across this country to just be better just to be better people and to be able to do so. So thank you so much for taking a little a part of your week to take and listen to our videos and to continue to keep interacting back and forth with us. So last week we talked about flex. This week we're gonna talk about another F word. No, not that one. Foolish. We're gonna talk about foolish. That may have been a foolish statement. We're gonna talk about foolish. That's what we're gonna talk about. Um, I am from as much of the city as you can be from being from Arkansas, I'm from Little Rock. So I consider myself a city kid. Wasn't really in a rural area or anything as far as that. My parents, not so much. They're from LA. Lower Arkansas is actually what we like to call that. Um, and down in the Delta in Lower Arkansas, there's a lot of life on farms and different things as far as that, which was, wasn't a life that I was exposed to. So my dad, as I was growing up, used to tell me stories about the farm. And one of them that really stuck in my head, that tended to really grind into my head, was about the cows on the farm. How the fact that they didn't have to put up really fences for the cows, because as long as the cows had grass to eat and everything as far as that, they were taken care of and they were fine. And other cows might have felt like that it might be foolish to take a step and go off of that farm because we have everything in front of us. But there was another piece of it. When they needed one of those cows for meat, he said that his grandfather could go up and take a gun to the cow's head and shoot the cow right there in front of the other cows. And the other cows wouldn't freak out. They wouldn't freak out or go anywhere. They'd just be like, that's not going to happen to me, I guess. And so they just continually thought and figured that nothing bad would ever happen to them, even though their numbers were thinned down every time they needed meat or whatever. Or different. These are big, large cows that could take off and run, go somewhere, do something as far as that. But they, they figured pretty much that it was foolish to step outside the box. Now, let's rewind it and let's look at this as far as in our own lives. Many of us, when it's time for us to take real chances in our life, when we, when we put some time into things, we will talk to the people who are around us, the other cows, and they will tell you it is foolish to go out there and take a step. It is foolish out to go out there and do the different things that are there. But it is foolish people who are actually the most accomplished people in our lives. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about making foolhardy decisions and just going and not thinking through things and just going and attacking and just going out and just doing whatever. It's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that if you take the time to study, to learn, to figure out how, what the moves that you're going to make, but then you're talking to other people who are in the same position who you are, and they're telling you how foolish it is, I want you to consider those cows. Are we just sitting around waiting for something to happen to us? Are we just thinking that way? Is that, is that the way our thought pattern is? Or could we possibly be able to think of a way to go higher? It's all about being able to figure out how do we get higher? It probably seemed foolish for a kid to drop out of Harvard and start some social media site that no one had ever heard of. 
as billionaire Mark Zuckerberg. Probably seem foolish for Bill Gates to drop out of school or the different things that are there. Now, we're not just talking about dropping out and quitting. See, that's the thing. We start thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to quit my job and I'm just going to do whatever. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is that if you have a plan and you work upon that plan and you feel strong and have, and have studied it and, and, and put everything into it, then don't let the naysayers tell you about how foolish it is for you to be able to take those steps. Go out there and take those steps yourself and be able to knock those things out. All right. So I want to share with you. I want you to share with me, whether some of those foolish plans that you have in front of you. What are some of those foolish plans that share and put them out there in the world? All right. That people might think might be foolish, but they might be the next thing for you. The next thing. Share them with me on my social media platforms. We're on Twitter. We're on LinkedIn. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're all across the social media platform. Share with me directly at my website at www.ojingacard.com. Or you can hit me up directly on my email that comes into my email box. I send people emails back and forth all the time at ojinga at ojingacar.com. Have a phenomenal week and we'll see you back next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.